When you finish designing your site, it's time to publish it to the internet. This will make it viewable to the whole world and means you can start establishing your web presence. In this video, I'll show you how to add your hosting details, test them to check they're working correctly, and then view your site on the internet. To complete this tutorial, you'll need to have already set up web hosting with your provider and have a unique domain name. So let's get started. On the standard toolbar above the workspace, click the down arrow next to Publish Site and select Publish to Web. If you've previously used WebPlus to publish a site, you may find your hosting account in the FTP account drop down list. If not, click Accounts on the right to add a new account. The Account Details dialog will open, and this is where we'll add our hosting details. You may have your hosting details on an email, on your online hosting account or on a printout. Contact your hosting provider direct if you're not sure where to look for this information. First, we'll create an account name. This can be anything, but it's best to keep it simple. Next, you'll need to add the FTP details. If your details are on your online hosting account, you can copy and paste them directly into the relevant fields of this dialog. This will minimise the possibility of making mistakes while inputting the details. Alternatively, you can carefully enter each detail into its corresponding field, like I'm going to do now. Find your FTP address and type it into the field. This usually starts with FTP. Make sure you don't accidentally add any empty spaces before or after. Next, add the port number. The default port is 21, but double check your hosting details to make sure this is correct. Some hosting providers don't require you to upload to a folder. If you can't see this field on your hosting details, leave it blank. Otherwise, type in the folder that is displayed on your hosting account. Enter your username and password. These could be the login details you use for your online hosting account, if you've got one, but double check your hosting details to be sure. Finally, you can choose to add the website URL for viewing your website after publishing. Enter the URL into the website URL field. To complete the setup, click OK. The Upload to Server dialog will be displayed. Click Test to test your settings and make sure everything is working. If not, double check your hosting details and internet connection and then retry. If you continue to experience problems, contact your web hosting provider. When the test has been successful, click Update Account. In the Publish to Web dialog, select Individual Pages to Publish or click Publish All Pages. To safeguard your WebPlus site, you can check back up the document to the remote server. This uploads a copy of your WPP file to the web along with your site. It's really useful in case your file ever gets lost or your computer fails. See WebPlus Help for more information. When you're ready to publish your site, click OK. WebPlus will seek an internet connection and then upload your files. When the upload has finished, click Close. When you've published your site, you can view it on the internet whenever you like. Type your website's URL into a web browser and press Return. That's it. I hope you've managed to get your site online successfully. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.